Kokoriki's Leaf Surf. A short story by P. J. Leonard. Part one. Kokoriki awoke to a cool breeze whistling around his ears. He sat bolt upright. It was the first chill he'd felt for a long time. That could only mean one thing. It's here. Silently, he clambered over his tree kid brothers and sisters, and clambered out of the hole. It was still dark, though the first flecks of light lined the horizon a deep red. The wind swept past, and Kokoriki shivered. He ran along the twisting branch, bare feet pressing into the morning dew stuck in the grooves of the wood. He sat on his favorite leaf. And watched the sun rise over the top of the big folks' square nest. He ran his fingers through the soft fuzz of the leaf and took a deep breath. Birds sang in the neighboring trees, talking about their soon-to-begin journey south. Summer was over. Right now, this leaf was as green as the grass far below, but soon it would turn yellow. Then red, and then, the leaf surf would begin. Kokoriki rubbed his little hands in delight and drummed his feet on the leaf. Finally, you're up early," said a voice. Kokoriki spun around. Topic climbed up the branch towards him. Her big green eyes fixed him with suspicion. You're usually the last one to get up. What's the occasion? Autumn is coming," said Kokoriki, feeling a great thrill rise in his chest. "Yes," said Topic slowly. "And we're old enough to serve a leaf this year," said Kokoriki. "Aren't you excited?" "Oh, that," said Topic, sitting on the leaf next to him and giving a sleepy yawn. "Well, I guess so. I can't wait." Said Kokoriki, peering over the edge of the leaf at the ground below. It was so far down that the foot of the tree was barely visible. The ground stretched out in patches of green, bursting at the corners with colorful flowers and big, empty squares of gray leading up to the big folks' nest. I wonder what it's like down there, Kokoriki whispered. Do you think it feels different? Can you eat that grass? Oh, I wonder what the tree looks like from the ground. Topic chuckled. The elders say it's nothing special, she said, and you only spend one day down there before you have to climb back up. Kokoriki ignored her. Topic never got excited about anything. How could the leaf surf be anything but the most amazing thing ever? He jumped up, and the leaf bobbed. Under his feet, I'm tagging this leaf," he declared, looking around the other leaves surrounding them. They rustled in the wind. None of them looked as perfect as this one. Topic leapt to her feet too. The leaf dipped again, and Kokoriki stumbled over and fell back onto the leaf with a bump. "You've always been a funny one, Kokoriki," she said with a smile. "There's a long time before the leaf surf starts." Come on, we've got a busy day ahead, and she hopped off of the leaf and skipped back towards the hole in the tree. Kokoriki rolled his eyes. She'll see, the leaf surf will be the best thing ever. With one more look over his shoulder as the sun rose higher into the sky and bathed him in a warm light, he jumped off of the leaf and ran after Topic. Autumn was always a very busy time to be a tree kid, but this autumn seemed to be even busier than usual. After a long and lazy summer of lounging in the thick canopy of green leaves, chatting with the birds and ants, and drinking the thick orange sap that would ooze from the wood grain, the creeping cold brought with it a lot of work. As the birds prepared to fly south for the winter. Kokoriki and his brothers and sisters scuttled from branch to branch as they pulled the abandoned nests apart, twig 
by twig, using the leftovers to help the ants seal up their nests for the winter. The tiny buds that blossomed in the heat now swelled with huge pieces of fruit, which he, Topic, and his big brother Pedip scrambled over and tore off chunks to store away in the hole for their own winter supplies. It was tough work. In the past, Kokoriki got tired before the sun reached its peak in the sky, and he had to find a hiding spot in the canopy to take a nap. It worked most days, but sometimes the elders would find him and scold him for hiding from his chores. Not this year, though. No, this year was different. The thought of the leaf surf drawing closer with every passing day filled him with energy. Gradually, the leaves around them flushed from green to yellow, then yellow to orange. The excitement tingled inside of him, filling him up so much he felt fit to burst. You've been acting strange recently, said Pedip one day as they brushed away the loose moss from a branch. What's up? Oh, nothing, said Kokoriki, fighting and failing to hold back an irresistible grin. Just, well, excited for the leaf surf, said Pedip, smiling back. Yeah, me too. Really? Kokoriki leapt on the spot. At last, someone else who is looking forward to it. Yep, said Pedip, kicking a chunk of moss over the edge of the branch. Honestly, I'm looking forward to the climb back up the tree. They say it's a real challenge. Kokoriki frowned. But what about the actual surfing? How about the ground? It'll be the first time we've been allowed down there. Yeah, that'll be pretty fun, I guess, Pedip shrugged. It's just, well, we see the ground every day, Kokoriki. It doesn't look that exciting. I mean, sometimes the big folks come out and walk around it, and sometimes they cut the grass, but apart from that... Kokoriki ran a hand through his thick, leafy hair. What was wrong with everyone? Every year, they watched their elders surf the leaves through the air, spinning and swooping their way downwards. If that didn't look like the most thrilling experience of a tree kid, he didn't know what was. Where was everybody's sense of adventure? He balled up a big bunch of moss and rolled it over the edge, watching it tumble all the way down. Down. His fingers tingled. Very soon. Finally, one morning, Kokoriki scuttled out of the hole to be greeted with a canopy of bright red. The sunlight beamed through the leaves, casting thin rays of sunlight through the branches. An icy wind rushed through, tugging at the leaves. They creaked and groaned. Kokoriki took in a deep breath. It was time. Today was the day of the leaf surf. End of part one.